Hello everyone and welcome back to J1 Aviation. So lately in reviewing METARs, I've noticed some quite long ones. So I've been curious to see how long they could get. So for the past week, I believe I have tracked every METAR issued in the contiguous 48 US states. It's not actually as hard as it seems. On the Aviation Weather website, you can enter airports and then search for the METARs. So the hardest part about all that was actually collecting all of the U.S. airports. And then it's just a matter of entering them into the website and then a little bit of magic in Excel. So after about 400,000 rows of text in Excel, I think I found the longest one for the past week. And it goes to Albany on the 16th of this past week. And it was 225 characters long, so that includes spaces. So let's take a look at it and review it and see what all it had. So here you go, um, starting to review it. Uh, Albany, the identifier. This was on the 16th at 2051 Zulu, so that's 451 p.m. East Coast time here. The wind was 250 at 11 knots, visibility was 3 statute miles, RVR for runway 1 was 5500, variable greater than 6000 feet, and the weather at the time was a thunderstorm and light rain, scattered clouds at 2500 feet, a broken layer at 4300 feet with cumulonimbus clouds, and overcast at 9000. Temperature was 18, dew point 15, and the altimeter 29.50. So that's the main part of the METAR. And then you get into the remarks, which is really what adds length to some of these reports. And to be honest, I had to dig a little bit online to get the exact description of some of these fields. So A02 means it's an automated station with a precipitation discriminator. And then you have the peak winds. So during that hour, uh, the peak winds were 230 at 29, and that occurred at 2037 Zulu. There was a wind shift at 2019 Zulu, so 419 p.m. Surface visibility was seven statute miles. There was lightning distant in all quadrants around the airport. The sea level pressure was 999.0. The thunderstorm began at nine minutes after the hour. There is frequent lightning in cloud and cloud to ground from north to overhead to southeast. The thunderstorm is north to overhead to southeast, moving northeast. The hourly precipitation total is 0.13 inches. The six hour precipitation total is the same at 0.13 inches. The precise temperature is 18.3 and the precise dew point is 15.0. Lastly is the three digit or sorry, lastly is the three hour pressure tendency group, which begins with the five. So I had to look this one up. The next digit six means decreasing. <laughs> so the last digit six means pressure has been decreasing, then steady, or decreasing, then decreasing some more. And the last three digits of 006 means the pressure has gone down 0.6 hectopascals. Um, so there you go. The longest METAR in the 48 contiguous states uh, this past week at 225 characters. Taking second place with the silver medal was CVG Cincinnati on the 20th. And third place this past week was Wichita on the 18th at 221 characters. So that was kind of interesting exercise to run through for me. Uh, I might follow it again this coming week and just see if anything interesting happens. So. Thanks everyone for riding along today. We we'll hope you join us on a future flight and thanks for flying J1 Aviation.